There it goes. <laughs> So right. Hooray! Well, well, the American is a new generation gets the dream. Twenty seconds into flight, stage one propulsion is nominal. See you later. Germany. Send you a postcard. M1D throttle down. We're throttling down to get ready for the period of maximum dynamic pressure. We're in the throttle bucket. Reports say all systems are. And liftoff. We have liftoff. That's so cool. The vehicle is supersonic. Wow, that is so cool. Max Q. We're witnessing history right here. Wow, that is so cool. We're throttling back up to full power as we're through Max Q. We have lift off we heard that one bro at 3.24 p.m. on Saturday. Until the first eight has done its job and they switch over to the second. May 30th, 2020. Bobby Duck pulling about 2.3 Gs, 2.3 times the Earth's gravity. That's amazing. Already moving at over 1,500 miles per hour. You've heard the call out for MVAC engine 1,500 show. miles per hour. Engine ready to light. That'll come at about Wowee. 2.44 into flight. Right now, everything continuing to look good. Next major event coming up is going to be the triple. We'll have main engine cutoff of the nine first stage engines, stage separation, and then ignition of the second stage engine to continue to carry astronauts into orbit. Coming up in about 20 seconds. M1D throttle down. There they are in outer space. That was so cool. Look, they're in outer space. We heard we're throttling. Wow, down that was engine. that was fast. The, the rocket went so fast up there, like almost thousand miles per hour. <laughs> Twelve thousand miles per hour. Fifteen thousand. And we have Miko. Miko. Huh? Falcon stage separation confirmed. They're all clapping. Hooray. Woo. Ignition. All right, we have stage separation confirmed. The first stage beginning its flight back. The second stage being powered by that single Merlin 1D vacuum engine has ignited and is now carrying Bob and Doug into orbit. And Doug. So they're going to continue go. under the power Bob of this second Doug. stage. Good. Propulsion is nominal. Which will cut off at Seco or second engine cut off at about 8 minutes and 44 seconds into today's flight. Well, so what do you guys think? Pretty successful launch. Second stage. Heard the call out Woo! So I agree with you. It's the report zone that carries them all the way from about North Carolina up the eastern All right, for NASA. Almost to Canada. Ooh. Things looking good, though. Yeah. Getting good call out. There we go. Propulsion Space on station. that second stage. Bob and Doug continuing to make their way into orbit. Dragon SpaceX nominal trajectory. Acquisition of signal, Bermuda. SpaceX Dragon nominal trajectory. All right, here in nominal trajectory, so Dragon pointed in the right direction, continuing to make their flight uphill. Heard acquisition of signal, Bermuda. That's one of the other ground stations that they're using to get telemetry and data back from this spacecraft. Well, don't forget to nominal. subscribe, goodbye. What a successful launch. Yeah. The first thing, time in 10 years, USA has sent uh, astronauts into space by rocket. Yeah. Yeah. They've done drones, but they haven't done a manned rocket. Yeah. Well, uh, now a new man we rocket. just have to wait. 
A little over four minutes, 40 seconds into the flight. Bob and Doug flying at more than 5,600 miles Dragon per SpaceX hour. Dragon SpaceX nominal trajectory. <laughs> Already almost 200 miles downrange <laughs> from the Kennedy Space Center. Nominal trajectory continuing. That is awesome, isn't it? And while they continue up, it looks like we are getting a view of the first stage as well. Yep, on your right screen, you can see that first stage with the grid fins deployed. It's making its way back to attempt to land on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you today. And we're just about a minute, uh, a couple minutes away from the entry burn, and that's where three of the nine Merlin engines do ignite to help slow the vehicle down as it re-enters back into the Earth's atmosphere. And then after the entry burn will be the landing burn, which is just a single engine Dragon burn. SpaceX nominal trajectory. And you heard nominal starting chill for entry burn. Is that call out? They are still on a nominal trajectory on Dragon. Which means they're doing that. Still on second stage, and that's that M back engine on second stage on your left screen. Yeah. Again, on your right screen is that first stage booster coming back towards our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. We're about a minute away from entry burn. Meanwhile, that second stage continuing to power Dragon into orbit. And if you're keeping an eye on that timer, that's going to continue to burn until 8 minutes and 44 seconds into flight. So a little over two minutes from now, we'll hear the call out Seco. It'll then be a little, under, two or a, little over, still good. a little over three minutes until Dragon physically separates from the second stage of the Falcon 9. After the SpaceX nominal trajectory. Trajectory. Continuing to check in with Bob and Doug as they are on a nominal trajectory. Just about 10 seconds away from that first stage, starting that entry burn on your right screen. We should be able to see that view live. Stage one entry burn startup. And there is that entry burn that beginning. This burn lasts about 36 seconds the burn. long. Stage two FTS is safe. All the different stages falls back to Earth well, except for the continues. part that We're just about a minute asteroid. away from Seco. Yes. We'll have a number yeah, of events all happen in from rapid succession. Uh, it'll Happy be the down. second engine cutoff. Stage one we'll be looking for down. that uh, stage one landing burn shortly after. Actually, just within a few seconds of each other. It's such a cool view on your left screen, seeing Bob and Doug on Dragon. Right now you can see the displays that they are seeing right now themselves. Terminal guidance. Oh, I'm back, girl. Where they are. Yeah. We are coming up 25 seconds or so away from Seco, or second engine cutoff. This is also the point where Bob and Doug are experiencing their highest G-force. We're seeing the Where's counter tick up to right about 1.8. Copy Shannon. 98 altitude. You heard Shannon, so that just means they're in their final abort zones. If they were to abort at this point, would either be in abort to orbit or to land off the coast of Ireland, standing by for second one line cutoff start confirmation. Up. We're still recording, but... Yeah. Stage one landing line. Confirmation of Seco second engine cutoff. Now we are waiting for our first stage to make its way to our drone ship. Of course, I still love Dragon, you. Dragon SpaceX nominal orbital insertion. Confirmation is nominal orbital Dragon, yeah, insertion. Nominal orbital insertion. Yeah. And what you're seeing on your screen is a live view of our drone yeah. ship, drone where our first stage will be ship, coming yeah. down. Looks like we lost that live view, but we'll wait for confirmation of that of course, landing I still shortly here. And there you can see on your screen, Falcon 9 has landed. This is the first Falcon 
Ray, who is the Falcon has to from Orbit, so very exciting for us. And as you can see on your That's right pretty screen, cool, Bob right there. are yeah. still making their way to their Yay. targeted orbit. <laughs> so exciting today. <laughs> we did it, Nessa. We did it. It does not stop. All right, we did, we did hear again that call out, good orbital insertion, so that means Falcon 9 and Dragon right now exactly where they're supposed to be. Can we need an FRC on recovery one? And it's right at about 12 minutes when Dragon will separate. Looks like we saw a zero G indicator floating around there. I know Bob and Doug owe us a little bit about what exactly that is that they brought up with them. <laughs> and before separation, before Dragon initiates separation from the second stage, they do make sure to make they, they do ensure that the vehicle is not spinning and it is in good con condition before we separate. That's right. The upper separate. stage does small attitude maneuver using mm -hmm. cold gas thrusters built into the rocket body itself. Exactly. So we do expect that separation to occur in about a minute from now, but they do wait until they have full confirmation that it is ready to separate. Such we cool views. Right I cannot get over this view that we are seeing right now. Bob and Doug on the right screen, inside of Crew man. Dragon, yeah, out in space. Go up in the ship yeah, like already 200 yeah. kilometers over planet Earth, or a little over 124 miles, traveling in excess of 2,700 meters, 27,000 meters per second, or about 16,000 miles per hour. Speed's 27,000 miles per hour. Yeah. Again, we're just standing by. That separation event should be coming up shortly. Then they'll begin a series of checks on the Draco thrusters that are going to be used to maneuver and then power Dragon Actually, on its great. flight to the International Space Station. Separating. There goes the other separation. And there's that call out. Dragon is now officially making its way to the International Space Station today. <laughs> I know. That's cool. Dragon SpaceX. That's amazing. Woohoo! A few words for you from our Falcon yeah. team. Standing by. Dragon, Chief Engineer, Standing Dragon by. to ground. Bob Doug, on behalf of the entire launch team, thanks for flying with Falcon 9 today. We hope you enjoyed the ride and wish you a great mission. Thanks, Bala. Congratulations to you and the F9 team for the first uh, mission success huh? ride yeah. for Falcon 9. And it Successful was incredible. Uh, appreciate all the hard work Launch. and uh, thanks for the great uh, ride to space. God be all. Bala, I'd like to be proud of you go. guys and the rest of Here the team. Uh, thank you so much for what you've uh, done for <laughs> us today, putting America back into low Earth orbit up from the Florida coast. Good luck. All right, so Bob and Doug are in and Dragon space. Dragon SpaceX, we confirm nominal equals activation and service section Draco checkouts. Uh, no scone deploys in progress. Copy all. We're monitoring. The core here in Hawthorne giving the crew a heads up that we have confirmation the nose cone is just deploying so again that nose cone is going to open up a little bit coming actually that's it what a successful flight don't forget to subscribe bye